So I decided to do my piece um, surrounding two forms of art, so literature and dance. And I decided to um, use a certain text as a source of inspiration where um, one theme in a text can inspire different writers to adapt to that text and create different variations and adaptations of what they just read. So what I've done is I've uh, written a short paragraph narrative, um, totally fiction, uh, and gave it to each of my dancers and they in turn wrote a short story on what they had just read. So I have nine dancers, so I have nine variations on my on the short stories which I have based all, my entire choreography on. So my piece is 45 minutes long of five minute base, like five minute pieces of the texts. So per every text, it's five minutes, minutes of choreography. So with all of my nine dancers, they all have specific types of movements. And I've been getting a lot of my inspiration from sometimes their movements, especially when I'm like making a section on what they've written, and then I see them dance that section, I get inspired by how they're relating their own movements to what they've just written. And um, I use that as a source of inspiration as well. And um, throughout this process, I haven't really used music to begin with. I've We've done everything in silence, only until recently have I decided to get music, and it's been a lot of help now that I have the music, but choreographing to just silence is good, especially when you're working on only text. Um, in my show, there won't be a lot of reading. There are um, prefaces to each of the sections where one of my dancers will speak a line of what we're about to dance, which will give kind of a guideline as to what the piece is about just so that you, the audience understands the main focus. So, for example, um, there's one section where it's about suicide. So, um, one dancer is talking about um, how it's like to cut and not, not too graphic, but it, just enough to tell you that, okay, this part is about suicide and how um, people go through suicide or happen to have those urges and uh, the hardship that follows it. Having such heavy subjects that you do in your choreography, did you mean to have such heavy subjects or did it come out of... It came out of my dancers. Um, I gave them the paragraph I've written. It, it could have gone in a, a, a multiple different ways, but it's it's really focused on running away from something. So mo eight out of my nine dancers decide to go in a um, heartbreaking route. So um, suicide, rape, uh, murder, uh, so on and so forth. Whereas one of them decided to talk about how she's claustrophobic and it was a party and it was her birthday and then turned it around to be about how she received a car for her birthday and stuff. So like, they could have taken it in any direction that they wanted, but since it was about running away from something, they've all decided to make it a little bit more um, depressive, except for the one. So it, it, it's good to have this one little burst in the middle of the piece about, okay, this is me driving my car, you know? It's, it, it, it's refreshing, but it, it is a very, um, hard uh, or cold atmosphere it's gonna be it's I'm trying to get music that kind of livens it up a little bit so it's not all depressing <laughs> but most of the stories are pretty depressing it's been a really hard process to both choreograph and be part of the like as then being a dancer in my piece um, when I choreograph for certain sections which I'm not in, it's, a, it's, it's wonderful because I can actually see what it looks like and I can see where all the bodies are. But when I choreograph for sections which I'm in, it gets extremely difficult 
because I can't see, so I'm always going back to my film, uh, my camera, and filming what I'm doing, and then right after going to my camera and being like, okay, how does it look? And it, it's been a long process. Um, obviously, outside eyes are a must, and they've been helping me out a lot. But um, it's a difficult process, but a lot of fun.